Change job application form. Yeah, right now you have to check a box stating whether you've ever been convicted of a crime. But is that fair to felons hoping to turn their lives around? Fox 35's Kirsten Delgado has the story. I have one felony on my record. That was it. Um, and it's haunting me for the rest of my life. Lashana Tyson is an ex-convict released from prison in 2011 after serving 13 years. Today, she's a community organizer and real estate agent. Though she has persevered, Tyson says she was told no to everything from housing and unemployment to education. They're, they're judging me based upon a box that I check, not upon my character or, or about how hard I work or how I could contribute to their company. Tyson is a community organizer with Faith in Florida, an organization that works to fight against social injustices. Faith in Florida teamed up with the Vicentian Reentry Organizing Project, the initiative behind the Ban the Box effort. Well, it gives someone the opportunity to at least display their qualifications for a particular job without being uh, disqualified based on the stigma of a criminal record. Lewis Douglas with Cavalero Staffing Services works with companies to find employees. He says he understands an employer's concern with hiring an individual with a record. A lot of times, you know, with the the box being present, it may eliminate some of the candidates, but, you know, depending on the scope of the crime dictates what, you know, whether or not they should be available for that type of position. Tyson says she's more than just a checked box, and so are many others coming out of prison. It's whether you get caught or not, everyone makes a mistake. But when a person has paid that debt, they shouldn't continue to be punished. That's like you paying for your mortgage on your house for 30 years, you get to the last payment, and they tell you you got to start over again. Kirsten Delgado, Fox.